Hey, welcome to Engineers Workshop. Um, as you can see from the intro, I've been busy, uh, not working on projects here in the shop. What I've actually been doing is uh, digging holes and pouring concrete for piers. We're putting in a new deck and a structure to hold uh, the solar pool heater. So I got about 18, I don't know, 18 or 22 piers to do. We got about halfway through them. Um, and then uh, once that's out of the way, I mean, there's still, you gotta build all the structure and, and continue to work on that all summer, but I've been trying to pilfer in, uh, you know, filter in projects as we, as we can. So I promised you that I would be introducing a new project for the Spitfire in the last video, and I will be doing that. However, it's barely gonna be more than introducing it. So what we've got here is a pulley spacer for the harmonic balancer. Let me get you in a little closer and show it to you. So on this end, this would plug into what I think is the, uh, the cogged uh, pulley for the timing belt. And normally the harmonic balancer would bolt right to that. And I think it has the serpentine belt grooves on it to drive the accessories. He's pulling that forward three and a half inches. So the harmonic balancer is now going to bolt out here. And then there's going to be long through bolts through both of these to get uh, into the original pulley. So this thing has to be, you know, parallel, perpendicular, uh, everything's got to run true. Um, multiple steps, we've got steel end pieces. This could have been a solid chunk, but then we'd have to, you know, gun drill these, these holes and have them be accurate the entire distance. So, you know, I can see his point in just doing it this way. Um, multiple steps on the lathe and on the mill to get all this, all the features in place, probably rough it to a degree, get it pressed together, let them weld it, and then uh, get it back over to the lathe and finish cleaning up some things so that uh, everything runs true. So let's take a look over at the bench and see what kind of stock he's give, given us to do this. Okay, we've got a couple of, uh, these were sliced off of brown stock. I wonder if you bought these from McMaster. Just a hair under two and a half inches. Three quarters of an inch thick. And a piece of tubing. Let's see if there's a weld seam in there. I think there is, but there's not a, not a big weld projection, which is nice just over two and a half inches. I think it's eighth inch wall. Yep, eighth inch wall. So probably put this in the lathe, face it, bore it, flip it, do the same. And then I'll use the bore that I established there to turn down a, a, a tenon here and we'll make that a press. Oh, we've got to get the length. What is the length of this? I think it's plenty. Yeah, he got, he's got four inches to work with, and this thing is only three and a half inches tall. So I'll get to either part that off or uh, do something to get the overall length. I, I can make it a little bit long, but obviously i got to leave it to where I can clean everything up and get it uh, trued up again once he's once he's done welding it. So it's going to be a interesting piece. Going to have to think this one through to make sure we don't screw anything up. <laughs> more time and effort you get invested in something like this, the more nervous I get towards the end of it. I'm sure that's common for everybody. That uh, CRC rust preservative is doing a pretty good job. This was that uh, low background steel piece, and it's just starting to show. A little bit of signs of some uh, surface rust forming here and there. So I'll probably get that wiped down and recoated. Still doing well on the cast iron surfaces. Pretty pleased with the results with that. Well, there you have it. It ain't much, but it's something. Um, so this will keep me busy for a while. He does have the bracketry finished uh, for getting that accessory drive holding there's tensioners, there's idlers, there's all kind of stuff he's got to put together. And I'm building exactly what he tells me to build. So he's got to worry about all the in and out 
relative to the mounting on the engine that uh, all this is going to come out right. We'll see if he comes back to me and says, hey, Dad, uh, can you shorten this an eighth of an inch? You know, so we'll see what happens with that. But uh, hopefully uh, he's a good engineer, so um, it should come out pretty good. And I'm really anxious to see this car uh, start for the first time when he, uh, when he gets to that point. So that's all for Engineer's Workshop. I know I'm sorry it ain't much, but it is what it is. Um, try to get a little bit more content for you next week. And uh, until then, you know what I'll be doing, digging holes, pouring concrete, and uh, cutting uh, deck timbers and stuff like that. So that's my summer job. So anyway, thank you again for subscribing. Hit the like button, share it with your buddies. Let's try to grow the channel. Um, stay out of the heat this summer, man. It's, it's wicked, I know, in a lot of places in the country. But uh, take care and uh, make sure you stay hydrated and uh, stay safe, as always, from Engineers Workshop. Thanks again.